well. You, you think so? Yeah. It's hot all them. Thank you very much. And your hair is beautiful. Oh, thank you. So is your lipstick. Oh, thanks. You like I it? I like your shoes. Thanks. And you're nice and tan. Oh, well, it's kind of going away, actually. Mm. Is that nice? Okay. Does it look pretty? Yeah. Is, it, is it better? Thank you. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. I'm Daisy hanging out with Leonardo DiCaprio. And here is home to the Mona Lisa, Venus de Milo, and millions of Egyptian artifacts and whatnot. And I, and you know what I hear, uh, this is confidential, but uh, the Mona Lisa here isn't really the Mona Lisa. Supposedly some guys really stole it and it's like a replica because they have it like this behind this little thin piece of glass and then like, you know, <laughs> I could have just gone in there and taken it home, put it under my jacket. Supposedly it's in some guy, rich guy's living room. But I'll believe it. And clutched my leg and dug into my leg with all her might. And I looked down at her and it was the most surreal thing in the world because it wasn't really about me or anything. It wasn't, I was trying to communicate with her. I was saying, it's okay, you can stand up, I'll talk to you, we'll have a conversation. And it was like, no. <laughs> you know? And that's when I realized. To me was a completely new venture and I sort of took a chance and tried something different. And, uh, you know, it definitely worked out in my opinion, but uh, I've never done anything of, of this caliber and it was, it's a lot more to sort of deal with, not only the sort of endurance you need to stay in character for that long when you're there for over seven months within the sort of whirlwind of things going on around you. It was extremely difficult. Um, but, you know, my opinion of, of huge movies like this that have a lot, that are special effects oriented has always been to stay away from them because they seem to me to sort of lack a lot of content, you know, but I didn't want to discriminate against this because it was a, such a powerful story and such an important movie. I mean, when you're sitting there running towards the back of a ship with, you know, 2,000 people around you screaming for their lives you could, in this sort of period. And then like another two hours to take off, but we also had this specially constructed fat suit that, that, I, that I used in the film. And I worked with a lot of different coaches on how to sort of carry my body differently, have how to distribute that weight as an old man, and a lot of it was just moving slower, you know. Um, but the makeup was was a claustrophobic process, and that made me very sympathetic to those people that have done that every day for many, many months. People like you know that, that have done Harry Potter and or the Grinch, those types of that type of prosthetic work would be incredibly difficult to do for that type of period of time. So I only had to do it for two weeks. So. You know, I was a rookie. There are veterans out there that know more.